Hi everyone, um, I'm going to show you how to increase your FPS in Warhammer Darktide 40k The new game um, This guide is to increase the FPS in the game regardless of the visual aspect of the visual quality So to begin with we're going to find uh, the user setting file Here I have my file here but it's not located there originally it's located we're gonna find the, the setting folders this way we're gonna write percentage ape data percentage and then we're gonna go we're gonna navigate to fatshark folder dark toy folder and here is gonna be your our user settings first thing we need to do is to delete this folder and um, this uh, file, sorry, um, I won't delete it because I have already done it. Um, um, before deleting it, you will make a copy, a backup copy, and for example, mine is here in the desktop, and you will paste it here in the desktop. So I, I won't replace it, the file, because I I have already my backup setting here. So this is originally what the file looks like. So if you have already customized your option, you should delete it, right? Delete it and start the game again. So the game actually makes a, a new blank file and it's not corrupt in, in any way. So this is the original file. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna close the game and we're going to navigate to the, f the Fat Shark Dark Type folder again in, in App Data Roaming. And we're going to copy the user setting file and we're going to make a backup. So we're going to make a backup file and we're going to paste it here. So then what we need to do is in the place of the original file, we're going to modify it. For example, mine has uh, I will go through okay so in my case what works best is the okay this first uh, this uh, first part of the file it, it it doesn't affect the game I mean it says FSR3 and FSR20 which is not my actual configuration uh, full screen true, which is not my actual configuration, and I don't know why, but like this doesn't matter, so we're gonna skip it. Screen resolution here, this doesn't matter, this is not my screen resolution. Uh, this, however, yes, I, I have changed it. it, it didn't say 12, so this 12 is actually my maximum uh, threads, my maximum worker threads on my current PC. It originally said nine. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you have uh, eight cores, it may say seven or six. And maybe if you have more, it's, it may say uh, a couple of number less. So the the point here is that it matches your actual uh, maximum worker thread. So this was uh, not right. So I corrected it. And then you can start by checking every uh, every line of code here for example I, I have everything in false um, here in the core settings everything in false everything that could take some resources from my computer um, here uh, it starts the launcher overrides so I guess this is actually uh, more much more what my settings looks like so these are actually what's gonna affect you. I have the FSR2 in in two mode. I don't know. You can. This is actually between FSR and FSR2. You have to use uh, whatever you feel like it. Um, this is what works best in my case. Maybe with your computer you can try to, to play a little while to see what works best for you. But then everything I put to off so GI quality off uh, in some cases 
uh, here where it says off, it used to say in the original file, so I'm gonna open the original file a little bit so we can check what was the original file versus my modified file here. So yes. So here we can see, uh, for example, what I told you about earlier. The worker threads used to say nine, and I changed it to twelve, which is uh, my my maximum worker thread. Um, then we go we go below. Okay, here um, master render settings or settings. We skip that. Okay, we are in the same line here. I'm in occlusion settings. I, I override low to off. So that's one thing you can do. And the alien solution was a radiant zero, so I, I left that as it was. So if first true uh, was in true, so that's okay, that's what I want. Share quality off, and share quality original was in low, so bear in mind that many of the things you have in low here you can switch to off which in game it wouldn't let you so here it says custom and custom but this is okay because it's it's only a, a preset override so if it says custom it, it, it will actually let you change uh, what it's, it's in the files so here it says like quality low so I switch it I think like quality I switch it to off. Reflex latency in one uh, reflex NVIDIA reflex low latency works pretty well in this game. I pretty much I strongly recommend that. Ray tracing quality off for sure. SSR quality off. Volumetric four quality was originally in low and I switched to off. Then again it had appears the same line here as uh, uh, before. And originally it said 10, but I switched to 12. So again, uh, you obviously this changes uh, between different uh, settings. So choose your maximum work threads here. Nickel time 10, 15, 15, 5. So I I left this as it is because it's not much demanding on CPU. And then the render settings uh, here: ambient occlusion enabled, true. I switch to false. Baked DCI true. I switch to false. Uh, Bloom enabled, false. Uh, I left it as it is. Um, KKO sample down sample false. Okay, I left it as it is. I don't know what it is. It says it's, it says quality here true. So I switch to zero. But since it is false, I, I think it doesn't affect it, but anyway, I switch it anyway. Nichols enabled true, I switch to false. Um, um, everything I did, I, I switched to off or false everything I could. Um, so, to sum up the work I've done. So, that's everything I, I did. Um, Well, here, for example, where it says uh, local light shadow atlas size, it was originally at 512, so I took the, the I took the liberty to, to downgrade a little bit, so I switched to 256. Um, well, this originally said uh, low, but I left it at low. Uh, you you can try switching to off. I I don't think it's it's not sure like this has a pretty weird name maybe it's something real complex I don't know feel free to try it you can switch back to the original configuration afterwards local light shadow is enabled true I switch to false uh, load option multipliers 1 I left it as it is because we want load uh, load scatter density is 0 0.25 I left it as it is motion blur en enable false you can enable if you want um, some people like it some people don't and frame rate cap 0 I, I have frame rate cap at 50 but you can put your frame rate cap as 
at the number you want. Uh, low latency boost false. Uh, the low latency boost false. Yes, I don't use the NVIDIA low latency boost. I use the reflex. NVIDIA low latency marker is true. Yes, that's the low latency marker. NVIDIA low latency mode true. NVIDIA low latency mode true. That's true. I use it. Outline enabled true. Outline enabled true. I don't know what this is, but it doesn't look like it's too demanding for the GPU. You, 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 you can try switching to off if you want. Particles capacity multiplier 1. I left it 1. Particles simulation load 1. It was originally in zero because we want load. Load it's, uh, it switches off uh, with the distance. So this in zero means it doesn't have load. And this in ones means it has load and the particles will be switched off when they are far away. So uh, I. So we we w remember you want load. Load it. It's, it's good for your for your performance. Rough transparency enabled false. Then left it false. Checkerboard reflections true. Checkerboard reflections true. Lightning quality high. You 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 can switch this to off and see and see if you gain any more improvements okay uh, light quality high I switch to off okay uh, mix reflection false I left it false particle level false shadow ray multiplier 2 and I shadow ray multiplier 0 uh, transparent reflection enabled false I left it false um, then Sharpen enabled true. I left the sharpen. Uh, I, I think it makes the game looks a little better and it doesn't consume much GPU resources. Skin material enabled false, false, SSR enabled false, SSR enabled false, SSR high quality false, SSR high quality false, static social map size. I downgraded this uh, from 2048, which wa was its original value, to actually half of it. And then we have static sun shadows, originally was true, I left it up. We I changed with false. Sun shadow map filter quality low, I switched to off. Sun shadow map side, it says 4 and 4, I left it originally because I think it's already too low. Um, I don't know exactly what it means anyway. So sun shadow false 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 upscaling enabled true sun shadow false 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 upscaling enabled true upscaling mode FSR2 originally was the same upscaling quality performance upscaling quality performance uh, volumetric data size it has this weird number so I didn't change them because it might break something um, then volumetric extrapolation high quality false 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 so I left it as it is false 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 volumetric projection amount I left it as it is because everything anyway it's everything false then volumetric volumes enabled true I switched that to false and then again I downgraded the this world interaction size from 512 to actual to half 256 and then what's best motion vector it's originally was true I switched to false um, well this is actually the screen mode I'm running the borderless full screen um, and you know when you are in borderless full screen the resolution actually doesn't matter it matches your screen resolution so this is not the resolution I'm running but I guess it's the minimum resolution the game has I don't I don't remember okay it, it doesn't matter it, this is my configuration this I didn't change because it doesn't matter and, and then here goes the sun settings and the threads and the version and I did some research and I added um, these uh, lines here which says a process I, I'm not sure this works I mean if you want to copy them and, and and use them. I think this doesn't work. I was trying something to see if it worked, but I, I guess they don't work. But this this actually do, does work. This changes your game priority process to high, which is very good for performance uh, upgrade. 
so I added this line here process um, dash priority equals high and this works pretty well it's amazing okay that's it and then you save it in the app data roaming feature directory folder as user dash settings and one thing I did just for be for making sure it, the game didn't mess with that I went to I did the right click properties and the read only checker I checked that so that nobody can change that setting the game cannot change this file so it will it, 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 it doesn't cause any crash I have I, I am actually running the game on, on that configuration and it works really well and one thing you need to have in mind if you do this is that the game won't change your settings and you will be fine but you won't be able to change any settings in the game like the music or or voice settings or like that so change those settings before you do this um, and then uh, right click here and force them uh, to only read only file and make it a read only file so that's it that's how I increased my performance in dark side and I, I got a, a whole lot of FPS increase so feel free to try and tell me if it worked for you so I don't I will double check if you can see the game no I guess you cannot see the game okay that doesn't matter uh, I was having roughly 50 FPS and after I did this I was having like 100 FPS like increased do I like doubled the amount of FPS I had with, with the modification of this setting so it's amazing I think it works really well for me but you know I have like the frame rate cap I will try to disable it now if the game loads, so there you see. Let's see if I okay. Mm. Yeah, I I think it's now disabled the frame rate gap, so it goes way beyond sixty FPS. It works perfectly now, my game. So that's it. Thanks. I hope it's useful for you.